my brothers here, uh, Tim and Jack, both have lost their wives, and I, I, I knew Tim's wife, Cece. What a what a warrior! Oh my Lord, what a warrior! Oh, Lord God. Now, I never got to meet Jack's wife, but in the spirit, she was a fighter. She really was. She was what the Lord called a scrapper. She never backed down from anything. And Lord, I pray that you would do for them what you did for me. If it's in your plan and your purpose for their lives, not to run the rest of their lives alone, would you bring someone into their lives in the opportune time and in your will? Lord, let them know that you're with them, that there's a reward coming for them, that you have not forgotten what they have sacrificed and what they gave up and the pain. You're a man acquainted with sorrows, and Lord, you're acquainted with grief, and you know how to heal us of the grief in our lives. Lord, in my path, you brought Alice to help me, to keep me from falling completely into desperation, and I thank you for her. I thank you for Ginny's prophetic word. I thank you that the Holy Spirit was able to use her in the middle of the night. I thank you for Paul Cain's prophetic gift that would bring healing to her body and divine direction that we would make the right steps. And Lord, I'm living today as a result of both of those words. Those words did not fall to the ground. Let not my words fall to the ground today, to all that I minister to, and all that I call out in the name of the Lord. Call all of those things into fruition. Cause them to happen, Lord just as you promised me you would. Cause this day of Pentecost to be a Pentecost in someone's life. And let us know that, Lord, we're going to be tried by fire, and our works are going to be tested. And everything that's above the ground, wood, hay, and stubble, everything that's done in the flesh is wood, hay, and stubble. Everything that's done in the heart is buried underground. Those are treasures. Those are gold. Those are stones. Those are precious gems. Those are all the things that are buried in our heart. Help us to cause those to grow, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, just, I wanted to minister to you. Don't, don't leave. You, yeah. Okay. What, what is uh, his name? Walter. Walter? Okay, Walter. Well, we'll, well, that's, that's very significant. bless you I sure love you guys I hope when I hope when you come to Indiana you and Tim can hook up and he can drive you around and help you what an assistant he is he is the most treasured vessel he worked for Hobart Premium for years doing all of his tapes then he served down in Seymour with Jeff Barnett what a faithful servant God has a reward for you Tim he's going to make it up to you he really is and you too Jack you're just beginning to see the glory of the latter house is going to be greater than the former in your life. 